Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next piece of news here, uh, talking about the UN and, and perverted activity. The UN is producing training seminars and videos and pushing through UNESCO that sets our education policy here in the US under treaty to teach children as young as 10 things that I can't even mention here on air. And it teaches them that abortions are great and that you need to get them and that it's trendy. Yeah, the list is too ridiculous uh, to even say on air. I know we have children watching, and I am not going to tell you what they're teaching people in public schools worldwide under UN directives, because it it it, it is it is pure pedophilia. That's what TSA is. It's all pedophile training. They admit that's what it is. I can't even. Um, bodies can feel good when they're touched, and it teaches you when you're ten to have. Same sex, opposite sex touch you. I mean, this, this is this is so sick. God, this is an army of pedophiles with nuclear weapons. I mean, that's that's what the new world order is. I mean, I, I just at the top of it, they want world government. They want to be above the law so they can rape kids and kill kids. I mean, that's it's beyond evil. I just know this: you people are going to be brought to justice. Whew, man, it just freaks me out. It gets me so angry reading this kind of stuff because they do it in plain view. They're so evil. They're so evil. Uh, here's another one. Uh, who is Coffee Anna, the United Nations peacekeeper, handpicked by the CIA? Got a report on that. His whole background is a CIA operative and how they use the money for food to actually kill populations. Former UN Secretary General, Nobel Prize winner, Coffee Annan, has been uh, designated by Ban Ki moon as a joint special envoy to negotiate a peaceful solution in Syrian crisis. With Annan's extraordinary experience and shiny brand image, his appointment was welcomed by all. They're funding al-Qaeda rebels to attack the Syrian government and calling them peace activists as they rocket attack people. Unbelievable information. Now let's shift gears from this tyrant to the federal Gestapo uh, minions of the TSA. They put out an ad placement um, saying that they want people who have imperious natures. Imperious it means domineering in a haughty manner. It is very uh, effeminate tyranny, the way they act. Uh, dictatorial and overbearing. And they say that that's what they want, is people that will dominate the public, drive them into submission. And that's up in uh, Ann Arbor. Uh, yep, only two qualifications. You must be a U.S. citizen, and you're required to have a high school diploma or an equivalent, and like to, well, teach children that pedophiles are going to gang rape them. Now let's go to our quote of the day before we go to break and come back with the one, the only, Joe Bannister from good old Sam Adams. He'd be a terrorist today. <laughs> He'd need a vaccine to make him submit to government, to make him not feel anxious anymore, like they're saying, just take your shot, Sam Adams. You'll feel better. And he's like, no, I just think I'll drink a lager. Uh, it does not take a majority to prevail, but rather an irate, tireless minority keen on setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men. And the government's got a vaccine for that to cut out those brush fires of liberty. All right, we'll be right back after this quick break. Uh, please don't forget we are listener and viewer supported. If you're the millions of people watching this in England, or on some cable systems here in the U.S. or on YouTube, that's great. That's our mission. But if you want to pay it forward and fund us getting more reporters, better equipment, uh, so we can bring you even more hardcore information and ferret out stories, be sure to become a subscriber, prisonplanet.tv, 15 cents a day. And we have a 15-day free trial running right now at prisonplanet.tv. We'll be right back. Stay with us.